in studying how I may compare this uh, prison where I live unto the world. And for because the world is populous, and here is well, not a creature but myself, I cannot do it. <laughs> Yet I'll hammer it out. My brain now proved the female to my soul, my soul the father, and these two beget a generation of still breeding thoughts. And these same thoughts people this little world. In humans, like the people of this world, for no thought is contented. <laughs> the better sort, as thoughts of things divine, are intermixed with scruples and do set the word itself against the word. Uh, as thus, come, little one. And then again, it is as hard to come as for a camel to thread the postern of a small needle's eye. <laughs> Thoughts tending to ambition, they do plot unlikely wonders, how these vain, weak nails may tear a passage through the flinty ribs of this hard world, my ragged prison walls, and for they cannot die in their own pride. Thoughts tending to content flatter themselves that they are not the first of fortune slaves, nor shall not be the last. Like silly beggars who, sitting in the stocks, refuge their shame that many have, and others must sit here. <laughs> and in this thought they find a kind of ease, bearing their own misfortunes on the back of such as have before endured the like. Thus play I in one person, many people, and none contented. <laughs> Sometimes am I king, then treasons make me wish myself a beggar, and, well, so I am. <laughs> <laughs> then crushing penury persuades me, hmm, I, I, I was better when a king. <laughs> then am I king again, and by and by think I'm unkinged by Bolingbroke, and straight am nothing. But whatsoe'er I be, nor I nor any man that but man is, with nothing shall be pleased till he be eased with being nothing. Music, do I hear? Huh? sour sweet music is when time is broke and no proportion kept. So is it in the music of men's lives. And, and here have I the daintiness of ear to check time broke and a disordered string, but for the concord of my time and state had not an ear to hear my true time broke. I wasted time. And now does time waste me. For now if time may be as number and clock, my thoughts are minutes, and with sighs they jar their watches on unto mine eyes, the outer watch, where to my finger like a dial's point is pointing still, and cleansing them from fears. <laughs> now, sir, the sound that shows what hour it is are clamorous groans which strike against my heart, which is the bell. So sighs and tears and groans show minutes, times, and hours. But my time runs posting on in Bolingbroke's proud joy, well, I stand fooling here, this, this jack of the clock, this music man's mate, let it sound no more! <laughs> For though it has brought madmen to their wits, in me it seems it will make wise men mad. <laughs> Yet blessings on his heart that gives it me, for tis a sign of love, Love to Richard is a strange brooch in this all-hating world. Hail, royal prince. Thanks, noble peer. 
<laughs> the cheapest of us is ten groats too dear. What art thou, and how comest thou hither? I was a poor groom of thy stable, king. When thou wast king. Who, travelling towards York with much ado, at length have gotten leave to look upon my sometime royal master's face. <coughs> oh. oh, how it earned my heart when I beheld in London streets that coronation day, when Bolingbroke rode on Rome's Barbary. Oh. Oh. Oh, that horse that thou so often hast to string, yes. that horse that I so carefully have dressed, R rode he on Barbary. Mm. Tell me, gentle friend, how went he under him? So proudly and glibly disdained the ground. So proud that Bolingbroke was on his back. That jade. <laughs> eat bread from my royal hand. This hand hath made him proud with clapping him. Would he not stumble? Would he not fall down? <laughs> Since pride must have a fall and break the neck of that proud man that did usurp his back. Given us horse. Why, why do I rail on thee? Since thou created to be oared by man, was made to bear. I was not made a horse, and yet I bear a burden like an ass, spurred, galled, and tired by jaunting volume. The fellow give place here is no longer stay. If thou lovest me, tis time thou wert away. What my tongue dares not, that my heart should say. Taste of it first, as thou art wont to do. My lord, I dare not. It appears of Exton, who lately came from the king, commands the contrary. The devil take Henry of Lancaster and the patience is stale, and I am weary of it. Help! Help! shall burn in never quenching fire as dagger doth smite her. Exton, thy fierce hand hath with the king's blood stained the king's own land. Mount, mount, my soul. Thy seat is up on high, whilst my gross flesh sinks down with you to die. As full of valor as of royal blood. <laughs> 